Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Hey, Reggie. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say to you, really. It's Monday, and I guess I spent the entire weekend at home. <laughs> Not really much going on. How about you? Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah, having trying to have fun, right? You. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I, I actually had quite a nice weekend, really. I guess, but still, it's kind of weird. The whole thing is yeah. weird, right? So there's some big news in Uruguay, right, regarding the fight against coronavirus. It's pretty amazing. The first sequencing of the coronavirus happened over the weekend. And it was carried out by two scientists who sat down and apparently like did it in 24 hours. Wow. Using international protocols. Yeah. Their names are, because I think we should name them, their, their names are Cecilia Salazar and Florencia Diaz. And wow. that's pretty cool. And what does this mean for us? First of all, we're going to be able to find out where the strains of coronavirus that are here in Uruguay, where they've come from. It's going to allow us to know when the strains arrived and if there are different strains in Uruguay. Because apparently there are three strains of coronavirus. There's, let's see, there's V, G, and S strains, three strains. And we don't actually know right now, or maybe we do, because maybe they're already processing the results, but these studies will allow us to know that. These studies have taken place on the results from 10 people that have coronavirus here in Uruguay. And what can this information be used for? That's what I was asking myself too, checking on the Pasteur Institute website. What it will allow is to actually be able to manage borders better. Actually, let me show you my screen and show you the map that they produced. We can actually see where the virus has come from. Um, I thought it was really interesting actually to look at this. I hope that everybody can see this properly. We'll also provide in the show notes the actual link so that people can go and see the, the map for themselves. But you can see that right now, there are certain countries where potentially the virus would not have come from. So that will allow for management of borders here. And also, I guess, for reopening of borders. Oh, this is such great news. <laughs> yeah, for you in Brazil, right? <laughs> for me, so that my, my poor mum will be able to go home to Wales at some point. But the second thing is that the three varieties of coronavirus, when they know how they affect people, so virus V, G, and S, which one is the most severe? Do most people in Uruguay have that particular virus or do they have the, the, the viruses that don't attack people so severely? So to actually have that information will really make management of the health situation here and hospitals, etc., a lot easier. So it's hugely important. And thirdly, to know when it came to Uruguay, if the virus was here before the first cases appeared, or if it coincided, their appearance coincided with on March the 13th, the reporting of the first cases. What is really important about this is that this having been created over 24 hours will allow Uruguay to have real time updates about the epidemic and how it's gonna be affecting the country itself. Well, really important. It is. Um, and Karen, can you remind us what are the Uruguayan organizations working on this right now? Sure, yeah, because um, they deserve a lot of credit. It's the Pasteur Institute, the Clemente Estable Biological Institute, and also the University of the Republic. Oh, I'm really happy to hear this great news. I also wanted to say that we put out a newsletter over the weekend, right, um, with useful information, especially for people living in Uruguay. If That's people want to know more, what should they do, Karen? We always have something in the newsletter that we don't share elsewhere, so I can't talk about that. You have to sign up for the newsletter, which you can find the link at the bottom of www.guruguay.com but all of the articles that we mention are actually featured right there on the homepage at the moment we've updated the homepage completely of the website 
Okay, so uh, here we are on guruguai.com. And if you just go down, this is updated with all of our latest information. So our status update, which we update every day, this is where you can get all the latest, most important information that a foreigner who's living or staying in Uruguay at the moment needs to know. Articles were all mentioned in our newsletter. So here for visitors who have been stranded, unfortunately, in Uruguay, of which there are several, but there are actually two lovely isolated country hotels close to the airport that are still taking guests right now. You do need to have a test before you go there, but they will receive you and provide everything that you need. Organic produce delivery in both Montevideo and around Punta del Este and then best food and drinks delivery in Montevideo, and we will be keeping these updated. So I think this is it for today, right? Thanks, Karen. It was nice talking to you. It was great to talk to you, Reggie, as well. And see you guys. Bye-bye. Stay safe. We'll be back on Wednesday, April 1st.